Commander, you're just in time. Hilo discovered a new lead in our search for the Order of Zildrog. My guys picked up a weird signal from an abandoned Imperial listening post on one of their runs. Seems it was meant for the Alliance. When decrypted, the signal broadcasts one word, Zildrog. The same as the message we intercepted from Theron. Someone is trying to lead us to the Order. I know it. If the message is linked to the one Theron sent, he could be using his place in the Order to help us. I admit it's possible. But even if that were true, we have no way of knowing his real motive. We need to get inside that listening post and gather whatever data we can. There's no telling what you'll find, so I'll come along to provide support. I'm ready when you are. Then let's get moving. Hilo, ready the shuttle. Empire abandoned this listening post years ago, during Zakul's first invasion. No life readings inside, but the security system may still be active. We should be cautious. Two children on the spire fight over a discarded ration. I could do nothing to help them. Zakul was a golden empire. And now look at us. Digging through the ashes the Alliance left behind. So many families torn apart. Fighting a war they never wanted. And for what? So the Outlander can lecture us about peace while we're left with nothing? Valkorion's death? Arkin's tyranny, Valen's path of destruction. It all began with the Outlander. I don't know what I can do, but I won't stand by and watch my people suffer. I need to take down the Alliance. For Zakul. Who is this man? According to the data, his name is Vin Atreus, former member of Valen's Horizon Guard. He was reported missing six months ago. Beyond that, no records. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. We spent weeks sweeping Odessa for bugs. And somehow they still had eyes on us. How is that possible? You'll need my help. No one knows the Alliance better than one of its founders. You expect me to trust you? After you helped the Outlander forge a partnership with the Republic? In a single blow, you doubled their support and cut ours in half. I also led the commander into that trap on Iocath. You wouldn't hear me out, so I took matters into my own hands. Look, you doubt my intentions, I get that. How can I convince you? Umbara. The Adegan Crystals. You got it. Tyrrell was my partner in the Knights of Zakul. She saved my life countless times. I would have followed her to the ends of the galaxy. When she asked me to join the Alliance, I didn't hesitate. If she believed in the Commander, so did I. You were a member of the Alliance? I never had the chance. Before I left Zakul, Senya went silent. Later I learned she'd been murdered by the Outlander. Senya trusted the Alliance, and she died for it. I would burn Odessa to the ground for her. Help us, and you will get your vengeance. Uh... 
I know better than to trust a Sith Lord, Darth Mortis. The Alliance had the chance to seize control of the galaxy, yet its commander wastes the throne's power on diplomacy. I'd rather see the Eternal Fleet destroyed than remain in the hands of a weak leader. That can't be your only reason for joining the Order. You must want something in return. All I ask is that when the time comes, you leave the traitor Lana Benico to me. Consider it done. How did you find me? It wasn't difficult. Despite clumsy attempts to cover your trail, I was able to learn everything about you. I know how to awaken Zildrog, and where to find it. It's much closer than you think. You're lying. I searched the Gemini network. I have ascended beyond the Gemini network. I severed my connection to maintain my free will. I've attained knowledge an organic like yourself cannot comprehend. If you provide the right people, I can help you control Zildrog. What do you want in return? My sisters are shackled to the throne. I still feel them calling to me. You want them freed? No. I want them destroyed. As long as the Eternal Fleet and the Gemini Network exist, I remain vulnerable to outside control. Zildrog is the key to my freedom. I will not be enslaved again. Adesan isn't the only target. They're after the entire Alliance, everything we built. We haven't lost yet. We need to find the Order and stop them from awakening Zildrog. My scans show there's still one more active terminal. Let's hurry. I... I think I finally found it. After combing through all the data we took from Iocath, there was a string of numbers repeated over and over. When I decrypted them, the string spelled a word. Zildrog. I thought it was just a legend, but the Dragon God of Zakul is real, and it's a super weapon, capable of consuming entire civilizations. I, I don't know how to wake Zildrog or how to control it, but I'm one step closer. It's finally here. My chance to destroy the Alliance and avenge my people. But I can't do it alone. There's another Machine God. If the Order awakens Zildrog and uses it on a Desen, Odessan is only the beginning. This weapon could devastate the galaxy. We're running out of time. Strange. New data was entered into this console just before we arrived. What does it say? It's a set of coordinates on Nathema. There's a message. They've found it. Hurry. Wait. I recognize this encryption method. We developed it together years ago on Rishi. Only two people know how to decrypt it. Me... and Theron. I never stopped believing in Theron. This proves he's still on our side. Commander, I know you want to trust him, but... Self-destruct reactivated. All personnel advised to evacuate immediately. We'll discuss it later. Let's get out of here, before the whole station blows. Destroyed the data? Didn't leave a trace. I received word from my team. They have repaired the hollow map from Capero. At 
The data confirmed the Order's objective is Nathema. I can't believe it, but Theron's information was good. What's more, the coordinates we received from Theron pointed to a specific location on Nathema. It may be Zildrog's location, but we can't know for sure. I don't know what Theron has up his sleeve, and I don't need to. I'm choosing to trust him. It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. If we want to stop the Order, we need to act quickly. In any case, I'm coming with you to face those traitors. We've come too far to let them win now. Let's show them who they're dealing with. I can feel the history here. Valkorion had so much left to accomplish. If he had his way, we'd all be dead. Valkorion made to cool the paradise until your alliance destroyed it. I know I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to help. Then don't forget your place. They've arrived. It calls out to us. It has slept for centuries, but knows the time to feed is approaching. Zildra. Call the others. We'll begin soon. where the coordinates pointed to, but... Where are we? Not Zildrog's location, evidently. Sorry, I needed to meet somewhere the Order wouldn't notice. I managed to give them the slip, but we don't have much time. They said I was crazy to trust you, but I knew you'd come back. I don't know how I could deserve your trust. I have a lot of explaining to do. I heard rumors about the Order of Sildrug through my old Underworld contacts. It took me months to even find them. And the whole time, they were watching us. By the time I learned the truth about Sildrug, it was almost too late. They learned too much. I had to slow them down long enough for the Alliance to catch up. I had to join them, work from the inside. The only way to get Ven Atreus to trust me was to betray you. It wasn't the only way. Why didn't you come to me? The Gemini droid was watching. I couldn't figure out how, but she was recording every word we said. Telling you would risk the whole operation. I needed the betrayal to look real. You can't imagine how hard it was putting you through that. But I swore I'd do whatever it took to protect you. Remember? I remember. If anything happened to you, I couldn't... You mean everything to me. So you infiltrated the Order and learned their plans. What are we up against? They found Zildrog in one of the Emperor's vaults. Looks like Valkorion kept it on ice as a failsafe. The Order has nearly finished their final preparations. Once they activate Zildrog, it's the end of the Alliance. I see them. The Alliance has arrived. Already? How did they find us so quickly? Theron Shah is among them. I warned you about him. The deceitful scum! I'll have to begin ahead of schedule. Make sure the others are ready. Our new ally will take care of the Outlander. I stalled him with false data for as long as I could, but we don't have much time. If we act now, we can stop the order before they activate Sildrog. I set up blind spots so we can get through the vault mostly undetected. We're supposed to trust you after what you've put us through. How do we know you're not leading us straight into the Order's hands? I know you don't believe him, Lana, but I do. The least you can do is trust my judgment. I... I, I apologize. You know I'll follow you, whatever you decide. Come on. We need to get moving. Well, well. The infamous.
this Cypher 9. Guess I shouldn't be surprised they're in state oil to you. Once you sink your hooks into someone, they're yours. I know all about you, Agent. As the SIS director, it's my job to keep tabs on the Republic's most dangerous enemies. You're number three on the list. Of course, that means I know your weakness. Too many friends. Once I help destroy the Alliance, you'll finally fall. I'm a little insulted. You think there are two people in the galaxy more dangerous than me? Don't worry. I'll take care of them, too. I sent over a new friend for you. If you survive it, we'll be here. What is this? You! I've been wanting to do that for ages. Organics fight so hard for their survival. But you are too late. The thrones have been filled. Zildrog is summoned. What happened to these people? They served a purpose they hadn't anticipated. Fuel for Zildrog's awakening. First, he will destroy the shackles that kept the enslaved to your kind. Then he will obliterate your pathetic alliance. As a reward, Atrix playing his part. That machine can wipe out an entire planet without a weapon. I'm calling your bluff. What stands before us? He's only Zildrog's mind. I'll show you how little you understand. The time has finally come. Zildrog awakens. Now since I consumed this planet have I felt such hunger. Give me a target. Let me feed. Execute formation to 995. Milo, get everyone off a desk and launch as many shuttles as you can. That's a parallel order, and I'll do my best. Gathering power! Thank you. Thank you. 
Victories will have to eliminate you myself. Destroy the power sources. Don't let Zildrog recharge. We need to shut Zildrog down before it has the chance to attack again. Tech involved shouldn't be too different from Tithe, so I think I can slice into it. Baron, no! you ruin my last chance at vengeance. Zildrog will destroy Odessin, and you'll finally know how it feels to lose everything. I'll tear you apart for what you did to Theron. There's the true Alliance Commander. It's time to end this. Zildrog, lend me your power! But just barely. <laughs> Couldn't even do that right. It looks like you've won again, Outlander. Like you always do. What are you waiting for? Strike the final blow. Be the hero yet again. You destroyed my fleet, attacked my people, and endangered the galaxy. For your crimes, I sentence you to death. Get it over with. We don't have much time. Unless we get Theron to Odessa, he won't make it. Call a shuttle. We're taking Theron home. No Alliance casualties, minimal damage to Odessan, and we stopped an ancient machine from destroying half the galaxy. I'd say that's a win. Factions associated with members of the Order have offered their apologies. But the fact remains, the Fleet and the Gravestone, our two strongest weapons, are gone. The future of the Alliance is... uncertain. What happened on Nathema is proof that we need change. I never wanted this to go on so long. I can't lead the galaxy anymore. I think I'm finished as a spy master for a while too. After this, I imagine the Empire and Republic will double down on their war efforts. We may need to consider who we'll support when the time comes. I hope you're comfortable working for the Republic. As long as they're comfortable with my interrogation tactics. You know, it'll be nice to take a break from ruling the galaxy. Not like you've ever taken a break in your life. Theron. It's, uh, it's been a while since I was last in this room. It's good to be back. Look, I know I put you through hell. I was reckless and stupid, and it almost cost us everything. I 
probably don't deserve the trust you showed me. I did it to protect you and the Alliance. And, if you'll have me, I'll work hard to earn a place at your side. So, what do you say? Are we still a team? You risked your life for us. There's always a place for you here. Oh, I don't know what I would have done if you'd said no. <laughs> I'll give you some privacy. Every night since I left, I've had the same nightmare. You're walking away, and no matter how fast I run, I can't catch up. Leaving you there on Umbar, it, it destroyed me. I don't think I'll ever forgive myself for what I did. I won't pretend it didn't hurt, Theron. I... I know I don't deserve it. Can you give your idiot friend one more chance? You don't need another chance. I'll always love you, whatever comes. Oh, thank the stars. I'll spend the rest of my life showing you how much I love you. Theron Shan. That sounded an awful lot like a marriage proposal. W uh, what? I, I didn't. I mean, I mean, if you really... Do you? You'll never know if you don't ask. You know what? Throwing caution to the wind here. Will you... Uh... You know... This is really difficult for you, isn't it? Just marry me, please. When you put it that way, I have to say yes. <laughs> Can't believe it. A new chapter together. The Alliance might change, but Lana and I are here to stay. I don't know what tomorrow will look like, but we have your back. Whatever the future throws our way, we'll all face it. Together. After so many years, we didn't know if your aura would remain the same. But we still recognize it. Vector. It is good to hear your song again, Agent. So you're back with the Killix. It's good to know some things never change. They needed us. These past years have not been kind to the nest. We searched for you endlessly through the eyes of the entire nest. Then the Eternal Fleet attacked, and the Sith Empire conscripted the Killix to join the fight. They sent us to the worst battles, sacrificed us as cannon fodder. So many of us were slaughtered. We felt every light blink out. I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you. We still feel their absence. We must protect what is left. We're ending our agreement with the Empire to pledge our loyalty to you. From now on, the Killix will fight for the Alliance. For you, we'd like to return to your side as an envoy of the Nest, if you'll have us. My missions aren't the same without you, Vector. Welcome back to the team. We have waited a long time to hear those words. A new song begins, Commander. We look forward to hearing its opening verse.